know that we've been alone together. That's what radio does to strangers. It makes family of us all. Do you have anything to add to that, Miss Redmond? Just to say that I'm glad to be spending Christmas with family and friends. And I hope the spirit of Christmas follows all of us each and every day of every season for all the rest of our lives. each morning and you make every night like New Year's Eve then you light up my sky like the 4th of July such an April fool I to believe and so on some warm summer evening should the heat get too much for us to take Betty? Nobody in the world would have blamed you if you had gone home to Indiana like you planned. Instead, you stayed here and found a way for us to start the Christmas Eve show as scheduled. So uh, our funds are limited, Betty, but, but nobody knows better than you just how much of you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. What's this? It's an airplane ticket to Elkhart. And the, the flight leaves at sunrise tomorrow, and you'll be home in time for Christmas dinner. But no airline goes to Elkhart. Well, they do now. You're booked in a Capwell crop duster. Made the deal with Capwell himself. All we have to do is run his ads for the next 20 months. The forecast is clear, bright, and sunny. Oh, and, and there's a bus ticket for the return trip. <laughs> Another trade deal? No, actually, I, I bought that myself. God bless radio. Or as Tiny Tim once said, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Should the heat 